And so begins the Great Acquisition War of 2022. You know what my favorite part about the Great Acquisition War, besides the fact that Sony was polite enough to actually do it Monday morning before the podcast, genuinely Yay. appreciated, like makes up my life a lot easier because I don't get like six days of feeling like an idiot, um, is that they're snapping up. Uh, God, it's Bungie today, and what was it last? I can't even fucking remember. It was Bethesda way back, and it was a different B. It was Blizzard, Activision Blizzard, right? And maybe it's the nature of the corporate world and buyouts, but like every single one of these upon its purchase, I go, yeah, okay, fucking that place sucks. Good for you guys. I mean, it's 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 buying. It's never just buying the place. It's all. It's buying the brand. It's buying the games. It's buying the IPs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's always like, like if 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 Microsoft put out a press release in twenty five minutes that said, "Motherfuckers, we own Capcom now." Well, that's what that's what I'm. That's what <laughs> we're getting to. That's the thing. Yeah. Is right. Like, it would be like it would be the biggest news story in video games since like FF Seven went to the fucking PlayStation. The timing of these uh, acquisitions and announcements for them is, uh, I would just, the word I would use is hostile. These are hostile times. Oh, yeah. Announcements. 100%. Where the news cycle is not even finished going through the last one when you combo break it to have a report with basically Sony coming in saying, Turnabout is fair play, bitch. And we I took your the... bungee. I think the weirdest one was this morning at around uh, 10 in the morning. I read an article that was Sony looking to expand and buy new studio in response to Microsoft acquisitions. And I'm like, I wonder when we're going to hear about that. And the answer was 90 minutes from the time I read that article. <laughs> PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan seen speeding down Las Vegas Boulevard, screaming "Fuck the world, thug life till I die." You know, it it is it has become a cutthroat environment very very quickly. And so, w when the last story was, uh, Sony is talking with Microsoft to make sure that all the honored agreements for Call of Duty yeah. are going to be maintained. And you're yeah. like, oh, okay, they're having their little sit-downs. This, is, sit this is part of that. This, so mm -hmm. uh, for context, Sony bought Bungie like 20 minutes ago. Um, and, uh, okay, when they're buying up a bunch of shit that has long-standing multi-platform deals, okay, this makes a little bit more sense when they're like, oh, no, trust me, it's all going to be multi-platform. Nobody wants to you know, actually shoot each other in this standoff and and lock everything down. So but, the smoky back rooms with low lighting where they actually have the talks are, you know, where they go, hey, like, mutually assured destruction here. Yeah. You want to keep our titles that, you know, people know and you want to keep yours. If you want your Halo going that way and we want our Call of Duties going this way, then let's be nice and amicable with each other. So, for now. like, we've had we've had a bunch of these. Bethesda getting bought by Microsoft kind of made sense, considering they've been like associated with Microsoft for like ever since like Oblivion, like back in two thousand six, right? And they they typically ship on two SKUs that are the Microsoft SKUs, and they've had problems with PlayStation stuff in the past. It's like okay, that makes sense, right? That's like if From Software got bought by PlayStation. You're like ah, that that the people has that had been working with for a while. Yeah, that's had an association. There's a couple exclusives there that makes sense. Okay, so that happened. Activision Blizzard just seemed like now's a good time to buy it. <laughs> it's never going to be cheaper than it is now. Um, now but where does Take Two fit into the situation? Oh, Pat? shut up, Jeffy. Where does Take Two fit in? There's got to be room. Take Two is is too, like is it not like way too big to be purchased by Sony or Microsoft? Do you what well, their their own like ma massive acquisition company with all of Rockstar, 2K, and whatever else yeah, they own? Yeah, like they're the, that's like Ubisoft or like EA. Or Activision Blizzard, I guess. But the only reason Activision Blizzard had the ability to get scooped up 
is that they were on the ropes there for a bit. The PR disaster, the talent drain, the fucking... Uh, the, the way Kodak mined... And I use the word mined. He mined IPs for their value. He, like, strip mined mm-hmm. them as mm-hmm. hard and as fast. That deflated the value of those IPs so that they could be purchased. Right? So, like, sure. Activision was in that place. Bungie, though... This is the one that is baffling to me. Bungie is a company that I've bitched about a lot because I hate their game that I love. Because I hate it and it's bad because it's good and they fuck it up. But the most confusing thing about Bungie is that Bungie starts off as an independent PC developer. Gets bought by Microsoft to make Halo. They started off making Mac games. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Mac developer. They get bought by Microsoft to make the Halo. Then I believe they make a deal to buy themselves out of Microsoft to go independent so they can go with Activision where they can keep their IP. Then they buy themselves out of Activision so they can go independent and keep their own IP. And then sell themselves to Sony. Yeah, well, which is see, the other first party. Well, the developer, like, the, the spite check has extra zeros <laughs> on it. There's power in the spite buy. You know, there's a little bit of extra oomph coming through, um, and especially when the landscape is sh- is is like all the tectonic plates are shaking. So yeah, stu- like any decisions that Bungie would have made prior to that to be self sufficient start to mm-hmm. come into question when you know uh, a major shift like the like the Blizzard one happens, you know. So um, if you're a person who's followed uh, Destiny's development with uh, 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 you know happiness or sadness or whatever, there, you can actually get like a really like laser eye focus on like the exact internal processes at the company that causes this rapid like a uh, 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 buyout to buyout situation. It's really simple. Bungie doesn't like, or the, the management of Bungie doesn't like to work under a big corporation that like, they don't like to work under a publisher. It frustrates them. It frustrates them because publishers have deadlines and milestones and deadlines and milestones suck ass particularly if your team has maybe some inefficient processes and has a habit of building up technical debt okay so then you go and buy yourself out and you get out with your successful thing you go all right we can set our own deadlines we can do our own shit fuck this would be a lot easier if we had all that other money yeah well yeah exactly shit um Um, okay what if we um what if we cut half the game out okay no um mm. okay we're gonna need to go get the money again guys but but like you so the thing too that I, i i consider is that some acquisitions right well all acquisitions are um hey we wanna just get this company to keep doing what they do and you love the games they make and we love the games they make so we're happy for them to be partners with us that right and uh then what that ends up shaking out into however is depending on what who that the, the, the person is who the 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 the, the, acqu- the the acquirer is that is to say sometimes it's mm-hmm. yeah go do your thing we'll talk to you in a bit and give you some cash i mean sony appears to more or less be in that kind of relationship with a lot of the places they own to some mm-hmm. degree uh and then there's the um we want your talent we will fucking suck it out uh we will shelf your ips forever and mm-hmm. fuck you you're doing star wars for the next three games oh, that's <laughs> the good stuff. and and it's like no that's not the same uh, as as um hey come over here and do what you were doing anyways you know there's there's joining there's there's joining the the Katamari and then there's joining the Borg. Yeah, so I went and took a look at Bungie's specific statement as a result of uh, the Sony acquisition. Uh, Sony's statement says that basically we want Bungie because Bungie's cool and we think that they can make us some money, and we're also interested in Bungie's live service experience. 
which um, is a nightmare. Everyone should be worried by that that point of view. Uh, Bungie's, however, makes way more sense. They say straight up, we are keeping the IP. We are in charge of the Destiny IP. However, the only change you, the player, will notice in the near future is we are going to staff up. So they got cut some kind of upfront check or, you know, a staffing costs. And the number one problem they have had for the longest time is if you read their fucking uh, This Week at Bungie's where they talk about the future of the game, they just talk over and over and over about how they just don't have enough people to put mm. shit out at the rate they need to put shit out. Mm. And they don't have anybody available to go back and fix old shit, which is what leads to them cutting out the old shit because they just go well the technical debt on running these and putting a thing out every three months uh can't do it just just remove this whole thing so that we don't have to run fucking maintenance on it anymore now based on the way that um sony has uh approached games coming out of like insomniac and santa monica and all these other studios and um and i mean even working with FromSoft in, in this way like mm. do you think looking at this that it's like the the company we're buying is not the halo company it's the it's the destiny company absolutely and and, and, it, and like when they do come over like is it likely that they're gonna be like okay cool now new ip time the sony version destiny but do it good though I can only imagine genuinely that either that is the exact case or this is a situation where they are being told to make what is essentially Destiny 3, if not literally Destiny 3, and just start over. Um, I... It's this really weird thing. Um Destiny is, I would call it an arsenal game or a pseudo MMO. And people who played it for a long time and fell off, in my opinion, have basically been going like, God, just, just fucking start it over and fucking do it right this time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm, I, 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 that, I, I imagine that, you know, the big thing they get uh, 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 asked to do is not necessarily destiny 3 but literally new ip but you know destiny 3 in brackets you know so they are working on a new game and the new game is not destiny and uh they won't talk about what it is uh and they keep saying that they'll continue to support destiny 2 while the new game comes out and i don't think anyone fucking believes them for a fucking second um so I'm of the opinion that it's very likely that Sony is buying not even so much the Destiny company, but the new IP company, mm -hmm. whatever that uh, whatever uh, they're fate. pitching. Let's just call it Fate. Fuck it, fuck it. Why not? Why why the fuck not? Marathon. Fate, fate, space Fate. Marathon. Run fast. Marathon three. Did Marathon three not come out? Or Marathon Durandal 2, Marathon Infinity, whatever. <laughs> Rip that shit back. Uh, somebody says there's a... Uh, I'm seeing people talk about there's a Bungie Q&A right now. Uh, if anybody could link me that, that, I would be able to go over it, but I'm having oh, okay. trouble... Okay, so in the middle of... Uh... Having yeah, trouble okay. finding it. We'll get, we'll get some, some hot news as, as we discuss... Um, yeah, no, Acquisition Wars. Um, the, uh, the, the world is going to continue moving into this direction. Make no mistake, it, it, the, the, the pie as it stands is, is gonna all meld into, um, you know, Microsoft, Sony, um, Ubisoft, EA, Tencent, Embracer Group. Yeah, I've never heard of that until today, legitimately. 
yeah, no, 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 no. That name has been around, but they're super background. They're super background. They're not, because, like, everything else listed is, like, active in front of the games industry um, as a part of their, like, brand. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas Embracer Group is just, like, no, 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 we acquire and own things, and we're, like, a holding company, practically. Um, but they are a humongous chunk of that pie. Um and it's all going to slide in one of these uh, seven directions, you know? Mm -hmm. um, it is true that, like, I mean, when you look at Ubi's version of this, like, all the things that Ubi owns are just, like, Ubi, very, Ubi plus city name. So... Yeah, well, a lot of that is because, like, they'll uh, absorb like a fucking dev studio in that city and then rename it Run, to rename it Ubisoft, mm -hmm. whatever exactly exactly so it's a, it's a different approach um god and that <laughs> that 1442 logo stands out like a sore thumb in the middle of their list uh but yeah this is not uh this is not by any stretch of the imagination gonna slow down you know um because it, it also is gonna make people with smaller slices of the pie look to each other and go, do we have to oh. like fusion for third place? You know, do we have to start making moves? Is Nintendo looking at things? They're making Kirby games where he fishes and that's Nin awesome. Ninten Nintendo is not <laughs> looking at things, no. Th th this is not the Nintendo way because they would never be able to absorb like a big new company no. And convince everyone there to be Nintendo. I think they just want to be in the room making sure that, again, whatever titles they were promised slash whatever titles usually come out in their direction don't suddenly stop, you know? Um, All right. I think I've been able to find the Q&A for Bungie. And by find, I think I've been linked to it. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Uh, and but really, uh, Kirby is the best response to acquisition wars. You know, I support that. So the vast majority of this Q and A is like, I play this on the Xbox. Can I? Will I? Do you? Are you deleting my Xbox game? And and people go, no, no. This is. It's all just yes, no, 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 no. Yeah, every single question here is, can I still play this on my Xbox? Awesome. So investor yeah, meeting totally. 2.0. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, well, you know, breaking news that will develop uh, uh, as, as it goes. Um, but uh, until then, remember, folks, that uh, every acquisition is a useless purchase unless it's part of a Take-Two acquisition. So I think my favorite part of this... Hey, shut your fucking mouth. I think my favorite part about this is ah. that, like, so do you know how long the lead time is on Destiny content? I don't. It's fucking six months. So if you're playing Destiny right now and you're frustrated ah. by anything about Destiny and you're like, oh, cool. Maybe that maybe they'll fix it, or maybe they'll have more resources to improve the, whatever, right? Um, fucking wait till at the absolute fucking earliest, being the middle of June, to see a single improvement as a result of this deal. Mm. Well, I mean that's what Destiny fans are used to, anyways, aren't they? Yeah. So. Uh we ha there is one interesting question. Uh excuse me. I'm going to go beat that dog. <laughs> uh don't do Dengue. that. Don't do that. Dengue. Oh, what you you take you punch him like this. You go yeah. Yeah. No, what I am going to do is let him upstairs. Uh so I'll be right back. Okay.
Oh no, I'm really blurry. I don't know why we even went to break. I literally just walked over to the staircase and 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 put a a, a, a I, gate I was, up. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I'm blur. I couldn't beat up that dog. He'd kick my ass. No, I don't want to unblur. I don't okay, have my well, glasses. Fuck you. Too bad. You know what? Yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, I fixed it. Considering people, people have been. Every single discussion topic has has been just derailed by. Okay, but when's your facial hair growing back, though? <laughs> I mean, I have like the color is. It's, is co it's coming in. It's coming. In just but you know, reblur the camera if you want. <laughs> oh, oh no. Um, I, I, uh, yeah. The 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 shakeout from this stuff is is certainly gonna gonna take a minute. But um. Oh right, I was saying. There is one interesting thing out of that Q&A where they say, one of the questions is, hey, Bungie's working on a new IP. Are those new IPs going to be PlayStation exclusive? And, on, and they say, no, we want the blah, blah, blah to play anywhere. We will be continuing to be self-published, creatively independent, and to continue to drive one unified community. Which is like, God bless this era of like a bunch of CEOs going crossplay is great, and you can see the vein twitching in their foreheads. Yeah, there's too much <laughs> money to cut off the deals. You know, we love we love multi-platform. Just veins bulging. 